Anyway, I turn this on. He sure. had a question about um, the county gave money for lifeguards yeah. and um, he looked in the press release and uh, where was the money from is Jeff's um, question. The, well, it, it could come from anywhere. The plan is for it to be ARPA funds, but our finance department has to check with Treasury because West Bend's process was a little different than Hartford's. Hartford's qualified for Treasury. Our finance department is making sure it qualifies with Treasury. Assuming it does, it'll, those will be ARPA funds. Uh, and if not, we have enough flexibility that we can go to the county board if need be for, other, for general funds. So Jed also wondered, the county is still charging to get into the parks? Yes. But then they give money to the city. So why not the money just go to... Um, it's not part of the discussion. I don't know. I don't see a parallel between the two. Oh. Um, all right. And then why in the press release, Jed wanted to know, did it not mention where the funding was coming from? He was looking for transparency. Um, to be clear that uh, we didn't want we didn't want to pin ourselves into one position because the process is different. So we wanted to have enough flexibility that if it ends up needing to be general fund money, that we can pull from that spot and go to the county board. And if, if not, uh, we can use ARPA treasury money, treasury money. And how much did the county get in ARPA funding? Somebody told me, but I just... 26 million dollars is it 26.2 yeah i think that's right okay um and then um i'm trying to think if he had another um question um could that money be used for washington county commuter express um in a one-time basis sure yeah and, and why isn't it um i i'm not part of those conversations yet public works committee has taken that up and county board will take it this month but um, quite honestly, it's bleeding so much money so fast that using one-time money to basically bail out a, a, a program that's not working doesn't make sense. So, um, according to your public works, they suggested smaller buses, they suggested raising the fare. Mm -hmm. Ozaki County has made some compromise and continue it. Waukesha County has made some compromise and continued it. But Washington County is, is cutting it? Yeah, that's my understanding from the committee. I mean, I'll certainly think through all of those things. I haven't taken that time, um, but if assuming the uh, county board ultimately approves it, I'll think through that before I sign it. But um, spending $10,000 per person per year uh, on a bus that nobody rides on uh, is, is not ideal. So what were they riding it for? Uh, well, they're most recently or you know five years ago i guess is the question so i mean today there's about 70 people who consistently use it it sounds like from what i've read um four years ago it was much more than that but you know the world's changed drastically post covid so but are they using it for shopping or are they using it for jobs and education uh there's i'm sure there's a combination of all of those things um from some of the communication I've got from citizens, some of them are using it for uh, more casual purposes, like going to Summerfest or Bucks game, uh, and others are doing it using it for school or, or work. Because the consistent ones who've contacted me have said it's for jobs and education. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Like I said, there's 70 people and, and funding it at $10,000 a year uh, per person doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay. So. Are you comfortable? I get, I get yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah. Are you comfortable with the conversation? I am. Thank you.